so hi everybody and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you another ad blocker that works pretty good with those third party apps that you put onto your fire stick so stay tuned i'll show you what it is how to get it we'll open it up set it all up it's time for streaming So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning on in. So a lot of people have been telling me in the comments that Blockader is not working so good on those third party apps and also they're starting to charge from what I'm hearing. So I have another great app that works really good for those third party apps. For when you're going through and you're looking for a movie and then all of a sudden you hit the back button and you get an ad, this app works really good. So for order for us to go ahead and get it, what you're going to need is you're going to need one program and then we're gonna go ahead and take you to my website to go get the app. So here we are in the Fire Stick 4K. Let's go ahead over to the left to the find. Let's go ahead, go down to search, click on search, and then type in the letter D. Let's go down now to where it says downloader. Go ahead and click on it. Underneath apps and games, it says downloader. Go ahead and click on that. Once it comes up and it says download your own it, go ahead, click on your enter button, Give it a few seconds for download, then it will go and install. If you like what you're seeing, please click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell, that way you know when I put up other videos. I really do appreciate it. Now it says open, go ahead and click on open. Go ahead and say allow, and then say okay. Now go up to where it says enter a URL or search term. Let's go ahead now and let's type this in. Type in 218330, once you have typed that in, then go ahead and click on go. Give it a few seconds and it's gonna redirect you to the Time for Streaming webpage. Now that we're on the Time for Streaming webpage, what you wanna do is go up to the top, go over to where the three lines are, go ahead and click on the three lines. What you wanna do now is go ahead to where it says full screen. Go ahead and click on that. Now let's go over to the three lines on top. Go ahead and give it a click. Go over to the left and let's come down to where it says downloads. Go ahead and click that. Give it a few seconds to change the page. Then come on down. And what you want to get is the applications where it says add God. Go ahead now and click on that. It will start to download. Let's give it a few seconds and then we'll go ahead and install it. Once you come up to this part here, go ahead now and click on install. Give that a few seconds, shouldn't take long. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on done. Go ahead, click on done. Now go ahead and click on delete. Click delete again. Go ahead and click on that home button on your remote. Let's go over to where the three squares and a plus sign is. Give that a click. Down at the very bottom, here you'll see it. This is add guard. On your remote is three line button. Go ahead and click on that and let's say move to front. Now let's go ahead, click on that home button on your remote. Let's go over to ad guard. Let's open it up and let's set it up. This way you'll stop getting those annoying ads when you're going through your third party apps. And when you click that back button, you'll always get an ad. This is going to stop it. So now what you want to do is just give a couple of clicks down on your remote, go over to the left. And right here, you make it turn green. It's going to come up. Ad guard is a local VPN. Go ahead, go down, highlight it in green, and then click the enter button on your remote. Give that a few seconds. Go ahead and click OK. Click on the back button one time. Go up to the top where the three lines are. Go ahead and click on the three lines. Let's go down to where it says settings. Go ahead now, click on settings. Let's go down to where it says DNS filtering. Go ahead, give it a click. Click down to where it says off. Go ahead, click on it, turn it on. Come back down one more time to where it says select DNS server. Go ahead and click on it. Let's go down to where it says add guard DNS. Go ahead, click on your enter button. Go ahead, click the back button. Click the back button again. And then just make sure that the protection is enabled. Make sure it's green. Go ahead, hit your back button. Now you're on the home page. Now when you open up your third party apps to watch a movie or your TV shows, this here should go ahead and stop those ads 
when you hit the back button because you're looking for something else or you're looking for another stream this here should go ahead and it should block those ads i know it does for me i hope you like this video please leave your comments down below and let me know if it works for you and remember day or night it's time for streaming